go and we are on hello hey. you guys hi hey, everybody already <laughs> laughing having fun and um we realized oh we need to join the party like we shouldn't be having all this fun without you guys <laughs> exactly we get jibba jabbering about the week and new discoveries and next thing we're like oh tick tock tick tock TikTok, you guys, it's it's so fun to be in community with wellness people that are excited about health and new things that we're doing and how it's affecting our body and this journey and wow, this small tweet that we've done or wow, what did you hear and what new person are you following in this new research and science? Like, that's cool. That's where like the cool kids hang out. <laughs> <laughs> right? The secret sauce. <laughs> It is. And we want you to be a part of this community, i.e. you're hanging out with Dr. Heidi and I here. And you might be listening to us on the podcast. You might be watching us either over on like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. We don't know. But we're trying to create this community that wants to learn what really is moving the needle in our health and wellness. And what, what we've all been doing historically has got us to where we are. But advancement and technology is moving at such a rapid pace that we can all feel better faster with some small tweaks and maybe eliminating some old things, gathering some new things. But we'll never know that if you don't gather in community with like-minded people that are learning to help you elevate your health. Yeah. So exactly. Dr. Heidi, I know we have some stuff coming up and we really wanted to talk to you guys about the power of a wellness community. The power of a wellness community. I mean, we can't even really truly describe it because it's, it's a feeling, isn't it? It's a, it's a sense of hug. It's a big hug and like, okay, I can speak freely. No one's going to think I'm weird. I can talk about my poop and no one's going to think I'm weird. Uh, everyone gets it because everyone is speaking that community or that health language. And that's what you really want because the language of health is so spattered out there on social media and, oh, this is the best thing for you. And this is the best thing for you. And everyone's doing this. You should do it too. Well, not necessarily. And once you really have a better awareness and you don't have to go to school, it's not a master class. It's just a really looking at your blueprint kind of class to understand, okay, what are they talking about when they say everybody's doing it? And why does it seem like a lot of people are doing it and why it would or would not be for you? Just being able to find the nuance of that health language will help you navigate so much better because it could be stressful. And that's the whole point of health is to not have stress, right? Exactly. And I think so much of the time, what we're learning is over here and then over here and then down here. And there's actually all the dots are connected. And so Dr. Heidi and I want to help you like, no, let's connect all these dots because gut health is all affecting brain health and your metabolic health is affecting your sleep and your weight loss and your sleep routine that you're not doing might be the key that's unlocking what's holding you back. And when people say sleep routine, you might be thinking, I go to sleep. What does that mean? Oh, no, we need to really build you a sleep routine. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's ask questions. But if you're not in a forum to ask questions, which I love podcasts, I'm a podcast junkie, even more so than books. I read a lot of books as well. But when you're with people, it's the questions that actually is like, oh, oh, we listen, we listen, we listen, right? We get knowledge. But by asking questions, then we learn how to apply it. And that applied knowledge is what makes you like the, the your superhuman, right? You've got to apply this to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that's such a great point when you talk about that is attaching the dots, like connecting the dots. It's so hard to do. It, like it's difficult to read a book when it's right here, right? I, I got to back up, right? With my glasses, I got to really back up. But <laughs> we all have to back up. And sometimes it just takes someone like a, a coach, like Kelly and I to say, no, 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 look, this is how they're connected for you. Not for everybody, for you. There are some things that everybody will experience because we all have the same processes. We all digest, we all detox, we all should poop and pee, we all should sleep. And 
but how to connect the dots when those things aren't functioning optimally for you. Take a day, take a day for yourself, come join us, get your questions answered, and then maybe find out a lot of new things or clarifications of things that that's out there. But let's just clarify that, that make it more personal. Yes, you guys. And you know, sometimes you're like, I don't need more information. So let's talk about transformation. Really, that's what we all want. Like we want to go to something and we want this transformation. And I'm not saying like, you're going to come spend a day with us and you're going to lose 10 pounds. No, no, right. you're not going to have a transformation <laughs> like that. They're but not. you will have a transformation in your belief about your wellness, because you may have had this transformation of, oh my God, I've always had this low grade depression and I've always had a little anxiety. And that's just me. I've always been that person. Oh, well, let's change the story. You could have this transformation that we eliminate that. We change a few things. You're starting to learn to connect the dots. And then you're like, oh my God, I have so much more joy and happiness in my life and I'm sleeping better. And I don't have to be in that little bit of, you know, anxiousness and depression all the time. I thought I did. That was your old story. So what are the dots we need to connect to change that, right? Or it could just be maybe you, maybe weight loss is your thing that you really would like to. And maybe it's like, oh, I just didn't know my metabolic health by walking after I ate or changing the way I'm eating my food or dialing a few small things could have such a profound impact. I didn't have to do anything truly different and look at the impact of my life that it's having. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Kelly. Most of the times it's small, little changes, but one degree in a boat will change where it lands (laughs) two hours later. Right. So small changes can make all the difference in the world. And could you imagine like, here we are in the beginning of 2024 still. So you take that 1% change now, early in the year, by the end of this year, it, it could be profound in every way. And your physical health, mental health, emotional health, everything about us is connected. And the biggest thing that unfortunately, ever since the world shut down, we have backed off community. We're all starting to get back. Let's go have lunch. Let's go to retreat. Let's go family vacations again. Let's go start doing things. If we can get back in community, community with like-minded people, and we've talked about this before, you guys. I mean, this is not new but you really need to understand that it's community, the right community of positive health-minded people that want to get better. Not the people that like talk about health and they go to Pilates, but they're still complaining about like all the things. No, no. It's the person who really wants to live this wellness life and be well. That if you surround yourself with that, that is the number one key to longevity, right? This happy community of people. So Heidi and I really want to say, listen, time, you guys can make time. You can take a day of PTO. Your kids can miss you for a day. You can travel for one night because if you want to go spend one hour with Heidi, Heidi, if somebody wants to come see you, it's a brand new client and they're going to have a consultation with you. What would they, whether you or any other naturopath and functional medicine practitioner, what would somebody expect to pay? Uh, You'd expect to pay between four and six hundred dollars. Four and six a ninety minute session, and that's no tests, no like that's it in out done. Then what? Okay, so you're going to spend an entire day with both of us, and not just us, but another 20, 15, 25 amazing women who all are going to be connected with you and supporting you who are in the same boat. This is unprecedented. It doesn't happen. If you want optimal health, you need to go hang out with people who also want optimal health. And that's what we're providing, a community to hang out with people that want to truly live their best life. Yeah. Come and join us. Believe that old age can be fun. And I say old age, they call us old when we're 50, 55. They're like, hey, do you want Medicare? What? (laughs) I'm, I'm just getting started. So believe, believe that old age doesn't have to mean suffering, doesn't have to mean bending over, feeling creaky. Because there are examples out there that I know inside of you, you say, I want what they have. Look at them. God, they look great. And how old are they? 
Dolly Parton getting on stage and wearing a cowboy <laughs> cowboy cheerleader outfit. And she's what, 78? I mean, people are doing it because they believe, not their age, they believe in their life and they take the steps to make their life healthy. Yeah. Come join us. Come guys, join our community. I want you to believe in you and whatever happened to your old story, whatever happened to your parents and your grandparents, move the story and you can be the one, the one that changes your family's future forever because they see you as a role model living in this. And that's what I feel so strongly for about that I want my children, my family, my community to go, oh my gosh, right? My, look at my mom. She's rocking it. Oh my gosh. She's doing this one day. Oh my gosh. Look at my grandma. She's rocking it one day. Look at my great grandma. Right? <laughs> I don't know what that will be you guys, but I, I, I want to be thriving and living and loving life. And I know most of you want the same. So yeah, let's yeah. do it together. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's do it together. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right. So the retreats are coming up. Orange County, California, March 6th, Dallas, Texas, March 20th. They are around the corner. So please reach out to Dr. Heidi and myself. You can message us. You can email us. Just say retreat. I'm interested. We will send you the link. It is going to be such an amazing day. And we hope that you don't regret missing it. So can we plan on it? We'll see you there. Book it, Dano. See you there. <laughs> Check. It's done. Make it's a decision. Done. Decided. Okay, you guys. Well, until next time, we've got some big hot topics coming up that Heidi and I have been chatting behind the scenes about. So you're going to get lots of good stuff coming up. Um, and until next time, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Be well.